is the oil rig. Gabon's leading presidential challenger, Jean Ping, is determined to wrest power from the Bongo dynasty in Saturday's election. Having served as foreign minister of the small oil-rich nation from the late 1990s until being elected to the high-profile post of chair of the African Union Commission in 2008, he is among a few Gabonese figures to be well-known internationally. Ali, Ali is rejected by all people. His only strength is to win by force, cheating and doing everything you can imagine. Launching his campaign in the central town of Lamrin in mid-August, the 73-year-old pledged that if elected, he would ensure Gabon will be sheltered from need and fear. We are together, which I think is remarkable. I think in the history of our country, this is the first time that the opposition has managed to get an alliance of this kind. With just days to go, anger in its economic capital mounts. The city of Pontchantil made its fortune from oil, but that's turned to misfortune after a drastic fall in oil prices. We lost almost 75% of our turnover. Back in 2004, we had more than 500 employees. Today, we've lost more than 75% of our workforce. The increasingly disgruntled people of Gabon will go to the polls on Saturday in a presidential election in which a last-minute opposition pact has robbed incumbent Ali Bongo of a clear run at a second term. 57-year-old Bongo has long sought to emerge from the shadow of his father, Omar Bongo, who ruled the country of 1.8 million people for 41 years until he died in 2009. Bureau Report, 8 and 7.